Dear students, our today's module is about software verification. So software verification makes sure that the product is designed to deliver all of the functionality to the customer. And it checks basically the software correctness, whether the software is built in a correct way or not. So to understand this, we will discuss an example. So for example, you, you have been asked to develop or to build a table. And one of the main requirement is that all of these four legs of this table should be of the same size. So this means all of these legs should be of the same size. So if all of them are of the same size, then this table will be stable. So this is one of the requirement that this table should be made according to this requirement. And such a requirements in software verification are tested that whether this software was about to do this task or not that task or it is correct or is it is incorrect. So it answers basically the question of am I building the software right or wrong? And it is started in the start of the development of software products. So from starting point, you are focusing or you are verifying that software. In fact, there are two terms normally used for the checking of software rightness. One is software verification and other is software validation. So verification is to check the correctness of software before it can be deployed or it can be given to the customers. So before that phase, you are going to check whether the software is being developed rightly or wrongly. And once the software has been built and given to the customer or user, then if you check the correctness, whether it is performing the required uh, task or not, in the required way or not, so such kind of checking would be called software validation. So if we keep on checking software correctness, then it might have and it will have and it will, in, in fact, it will ensure some of the advantages. So for example, it will decrease the count of defect in the later stage of the development. So from start of the software, you have tried to focus yourself on the requirements and you are trying to meet those requirements in a very critical way. So this will, of course, uh, save your time and save your effort and it will decrease the defects which might come at the later stages. Then it will help to understand the product at the start because you are checking the correctness and you are always trying to answer that am I building the right software or the wrong software. So this will help to understand the product and this product might have multiple modules, multiple functionalities and you are checking all of those functionalities and modules. And then it reduces the chances of failure afterwards and it helps in building the product as per the customer satisfaction. Because when you are saying that am I building the right software, so this means you are always contacting are taking the feedback from the customer, so whether this is the software you need or not. So if we summarize today's module, we have learned about software verification. We have discussed what is software verification, we have discussed an example of table, and we have related that example with the software development, and then we have seen that if the software is verified, from starting of the software development, what kind of advantages it will have on the software development after and in the later stages.